Oh, hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Tim Botuk, and this is the joy of painting Middle Earth, a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer. And maybe we'll paint a scary one a time or two. That can be quite fun, you know. Now, I may not be the best painter in the Shire, but I do love it so, and I'd love for you to join me. So if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's go on an adventure. Okay, okay. Thank you again. Now, today, as I mentioned, we do like to paint a scary one every now and again. And today is one of those days. Oh, mainly because we're getting to the end of autumn, and a lot of people have these harvest festivals where they dress up like scary figures. So, why don't we, why don't we uh, make a little episode in honor of that? Okay, so... We had visited old Tom Bombadil. Oh, right, you remember him. We went to his cabin. That's right. We went to his cabin. And today we're going to paint what happens after our hobbits leave that area. That's right. That's right. So right now I'm just dropping in a dark sky. I'm just mixing some phthalo blue with some ivory black. And what colors do we have today? We have phthalo blue, alizarin crimson, alizarin crimson, uh, sap green, ivory black, titanium white, of course. We have some yellow ochre and cadmium lemon. That's right. That's right. So we're dropping in a dark, dark sky. Oh, I might have got too much black in there, but that's okay. The sky is getting dark. The sky is getting dark. And our hobbits are crossing through the Barrow Downs. That's right. Oh, it's not, not a fun area to be in. Now, what has happened? Our hobbits have gotten a little lost and they took a little longer break than they meant to when it came time for lunch. So, just gonna wash off that brush a little bit, real quick, and... We beat the Sauron. There we go. We beat the Sauron out of the brush. Right down in the rubbish bin. Okay. There we go. We've got that cleaned off a bit. And we're just going to soften this out. Now, I've already prepared the canvas today. I put down some of that magic white that old Bob Ross the Blue taught us how to paint with. That's right. Because we're using Bob Ross the Blue's technique. Oh, what a wizard he was. We're using his technique to paint a wet on wet oil painting today. That's right. And we just drop in that sky like that. So you can see we've got a bit of clouds and things going on in here. And we have that dark sky up there. We're not going to mess with that too much. We're not going to mess with that too much because we're going to be putting in some fog. And I'm just going to come to some of our titanium white. I'm going to bring it right here. Just grab a little bit of that blue and that black. Kind of gray that up. And now we're going to come and we're going to put some of that in. There we go. There we are. And that quick, we've dropped in a nice sky. Now I'm going to clean off this brush. I'm coming into my sap green and I'm going to go into that dark color there. We're just going to lay down a real dark color, starting from the bottom, getting lighter as we go up. These are going to be our hills. That's right, the hills of the Barrow Downs. I'm going to come into this dark, dark color here. And we're going to put some of these hills back off in the distance. We're going to just drop those in. Hmm. 
Okay, okay. What I'm doing, just to let you know, is I'm bringing in these hills and I'm putting this down lightly because there's going to be a bit of fog coming over that. That's right, we have that mist and that fog that has set in. And I'm going to come back down and I'm going to put the darker parts and you'll see how it highlights it over what's already there. There we go. And we're going to start adding in some of those stones that stick up as well. And I've just mixed a little bit of alizarin crimson, some phthalo blue, the sap green, and our ivory black into this color. And I'm just going to come back and I'm just going to darken this up. That's far off in the distance. Not a lot of details back there. And I'll do the same on that side. There we are. This is just going to be a light misty area, but here the hills that are in the forefront we got some dark green going on here. And we just tap this in, tap that together and we'll come, we'll put a few highlights on here more towards the end, but we just wanna get that green right up front. There we go. There we are. All right, now that we have that laid down back there, let's, let's switch over. Let's switch over to our fan brush. We're going to come to one of these fan brushes and what we're going to do, we're just coming into some of our titanium white. There we go, just load that into the brush. Just that. Titanium white, just pull it down right there. There we go. So we have a lot loaded up on our brush. Now we're gonna come in here and we're putting in that fog. We're just tapping that in, that mist and the fingers of the mist that come down. There we go. And that just just floats across the land. There we are. There we are. Put some more of that in. There we go. And just put that in and then just pull it across. Make that misty, misty fog. And it kind of goes in layers, so it's not so thick everywhere. There we go. And you can even pull it up some to give it Some direction there, there we go. Oh, what a spooky place. You would not want to be walking through the Barrow Downs after dark, that's for sure. It was spooky enough during the day. We just want to make that, oh, there we go. There we go. Put some of that on there. Just... Push it in and then pick it up and move it about. Just creating that misty look. Oh, that cold wind is blowing from everywhere. That's right. Just lift that. Oh, 
There we go. There we go. Now we can come back. We can come back to a clean, dry brush. Oh, I'm not beating the Sauron out of it in my hobbit hole. We've thrown enough paint everywhere. But once the weather gets better and we're back outside, we shall just... We shall just beat the Sauron out of the brush right against the easel. There we go. Like old Bob Ross the Blue taught us how to do. There we go. There we go. Just making that fog. Oh, mix in. And just give that misty appearance there. Oh, not somewhere you'd want to walk through. That's for sure. That's for sure. There we go. Maybe, maybe. Give that brush a clean so we can get some nice clean titanium white right back on there. Just put that in. We're going to come up here and we're going to do some, some mist up here as well. Just right over the land here. Just, just tap that on and then we'll come back and soften that out again. There we go. Showing that that mist is getting a little bit thicker everywhere they look. All right. Come back to our clean, dry brush. And just again, lift, lift and pull, lift and pull, just pull that out. And just soften it. So you can see now it's blurred out the background because you can't see through that fog. You can't see quite through that mist. It lets you know that there are shapes back there that are difficult to see. There we go. There we go. Now, there were some shapes back there. Oh, reading voice, I cut you off again. Oh, you had talked about these shapes that were in the back. That's right, these rocks. Oh, they're all over the place. But the north gate to the Barrow Downs that gives our party some hope that they're coming out, coming out of it. It's stuck up like two dark towers. There we go. Right back here, right back here. We'll put those in. And this is where they had come so close to getting through. Once they had made it past these towers, they would have been out to the Barrow Downs. That's right. That's right. Now, what we want to do is we're just going to take a clean, dry... I've just grabbed a one-inch brush here, and we're going to tap out the bottom of that. We're going to tap out the bottom there. There we go. Maybe let's put a little color... We don't want it too bright up there, but we'll come into some of that grayish color we had. Just mix that in just to give some highlight. Oh, I got some titanium white on my, my finger there. I better wipe that off. Otherwise, I'll be getting it all over the place. I can be a bit of a mess when I paint. There we go. Gonna take some of this, and now we're coming on, we're coming on to those pillars, and we're just giving them a little, little color in there, just to break up that, that dark shadow color. There we go. There we go. There's a little bit. There's a little bit. Maybe, maybe. Grab a little bit more of the white, just to get it. A little bit of a lighter gray just for a few more highlights on there. There we go. And I don't mean to stand in front of you, but there's 
little bit of a glare on there. There we go. All right, now that we have those highlighted a little bit, we'll come back to that that one inch brush we were using and maybe even grab a little bit of that titanium white and we can just tap this in at the bottom might have been a little too much but that's okay that's okay just tap it out it'll mix together it'll mix together there we go There we go. Now, Frodo was following a little bit of a path there, and that was the way out. So I've just put in a, some of our colors, just mixing them around. And we'll just come up with a, a little color on the path there, and just put that path in. That's the direction they were headed. Now we're going to put in some more of those stones. Those ones are just far off in the distance. Now we have some that are a little closer, a little closer up front. And they just stick right up. There we go. Like these pillars of old. This is a very old area. Just using the palette knife, just put that on and pull it across. There we go. There we go. And we'll make a few more of those. Maybe one right here. And we'll put some, we'll put some highlights on these. We'll use a, a fan brush maybe. We'll come back to that in just a minute here. All right. All right. And we have some more of those all over the place. They're all over. Maybe, maybe there's one back here. Maybe there's one right here. Look at that. We got a big one right here. Just goes right across this way. This one's tall because it's closest to our perspective. And you see that I've gone right in front of that one back there. So that pushes that one back. The perspective even further back. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Maybe, maybe there's one here, but it, it's not as tall as the rest. Right there, there we go. Maybe there's one that fell right there and is leaning right against him. And then, of course, there's some rocky things. You can't have those big rocks without little pieces that have come off and fallen all down. So 
Let's put some of those in our path. There we go. There's one. Maybe another there. Just put these about. Maybe, maybe. There's some pieces that fell right there. Maybe we have a whole pile of them right here. There we go. Now, of course, right, right along our path, there's going to be one right here. Right here, right here. And this we'll put in here. For now, we're going to put this big, big rock right here. Oh, these, these are very troubling. These are very troubling to our story. Oh, and if you haven't taken in the story with the Barrow Downs, I suggest that you do. There we go. We want this one nice and wide, nice and wide here. All right, now what I'm going to do since I'm I'm right-handed and I'm keep pulling from the right I'm gonna turn my hand over and we're gonna pull from the left to give this a little Sharper edge along the other side as well. There we go Oh, and the scary thing is, when you lean against these rocks, you don't know which ones might be a door and which ones might not. There we go. Now, just going to set down that palette knife to the side there. Oh, and maybe, maybe, maybe. Let us come. I'm going to use this skinny palette knife now. We're just going to pick up some of our titanium white. We're just going to put it up here. We're going to mix up a nice highlight color for our stones. There we go. Once we've done that, just pick some of that up on your knife. And then, here, let's come to some of these. We just need, we just need some shape to that rock. There we go. Just let the canvas pick some of that up. If you drag it across from side to side, you kind of give it a, a spindly look, like, Maybe that rock, but don't, don't put too much on there. That's right. Don't kill all those darks. You don't want to smush all the darks out of there. You want to keep that on there. Just let the canvas keep what it wants. If you want to give it a geometric shape, just cut a line down the center of it. Make one part one side and another part the other side. There we go. Get some more of our color there.
There we are. Now you can come back, maybe get it a little darker for this other side. There we go. There we go. All right, all right, these rocks are taking shape. There we go, we got that one in the back there. Let's just give him some shape to... There we go. But then we remember this one here is right in front. Right in front of him. So this will just come right down like that. There we go. There we go. Just put that on there. If you press in, you bring some of the dark off the back. And then this one, oh, I have a little weird shape up here. Let's give that some angle to it. What is going on with that one? I don't know. Maybe it used to be some sort of different type of rock. There we go. Maybe, maybe we'll get a little bit of our yellow ochre in there just to kind of give it a brownish, a brownish color too. There we go. That's right. That's right. Come to here. Let's do this one as well. There we go. Those stones have been there for a thousand years or more. A thousand years or more. So obviously time has taken their toll on those stones. There we go. There we are. We'll grab a little bit more and give some highlight to these guys on the ground there. Not to be left out, not to be left out. There we go. Just a little bit of that color, just put it right along there. Let the canvas form the shape for you. There we go. You know what to do. You know what to do. Oh, just don't knock everything over like me. <laughs> there we go. And give him a little shape there. There we are. Now this guy here. This guy, there's going to be a crack right in the center there. So what we do is we just get it on our knife. And this is a bit of a doorway that leads to the underground. That's right. So we'll pull this away just like that. There we go. And leave that opening there. Just load it up. Load it up on your knife. There we go. And just come right across the top there.
There we are. There we are. I'm going to step in front of you just for a moment. There we go. Now, we've got a villain in this part of our story. Oh, the Barrow White. That's right, the Barrow White. He comes out of that crack in the rock and he takes our hobbits prisoner, brings them down into the underground. So we need to put a little Barrow White in there. How are we going to do that? Well, today I'm going to use this brush. Oh, it's just a short little stubby brush. I'm going to come here. And maybe, maybe, let's see about getting some of this black real thin. Thin that out because a thin paint will stick to a thick paint. There we go. Get that nice and thin. And I've got it on my brush and I'm going to come up here. And that skinny arm with these long skinny fingers. There we go. Get that black on there. And let's do some skinny fingers with this if we can. If we can. Oh, look at those creepy crawly things. There we go. And they look a little thick right now, but we'll fix them up. We'll fix them up. There we go. And maybe, maybe just his hand is over on this side. There we go. Bring that long skinny hand out. There we are. And maybe, maybe there's a foot there. Oh, I don't know what kind of foot that is. It does not look pleasant. Not at all. There we go. All right, now I'm going to come to my filbert brush because with the filbert brush, I want to get some of our white here. We want kind of a glowing foggy color. So I'm going to get some of my blue. Now that's really blue. We're going to come to our cadmium yellow. That's right. And we're going to put that in. Trying to come up with a nice foggy type, creepy foggy color. So we mix in some white because we want to make it so the color isn't the primary focus. There we go. Got it loaded up on our brush. Let's see how we do with this. Let's see. Now, oh, I just smashed his face. Now, I think what I should have done, I had quite a bit of black there. So I should have, before I started this part of it, I should have scraped off There we go. We don't make mistakes. That's right. We make happy accidents. Scrape off. There we go. Because we had too much paint down there for this part. I should have done that before, but that's okay. That's okay. What that does is that pushes that color 
into the canvas, but it pulls up the extra paint because we were just making a mess there. There we go. Now we've scraped that off. We've scraped that off. I'm just going to leave that arm there. But we'll come back to that white. And we want to just make that misty. And make it misty in there. There we go. Clean that off again. And that's creeping right out of there. Get some of our black there now. These are always the hard ones to do when you're trying to do it in a slow or a, when you're trying to do it in a short amount of time. Some of these details, but they'll work out. You'll see it always does. It always does. This is our Barrow White, this dark figure right inside of here. Just putting the shape of a shadow figure back there. There we go. We can't see him real well. We don't get a good look for him. Look at him up here. There we go. There we have that creepy old figure. That creepy old Barrow White. Coming out. Coming out from the rock. Now we can come to that highlight color. Maybe darken it up a little like we had. There we go. And then just put some highlight. Trying to get that thin paint to stick to the thick paint. There we go. We can just see the shape of that figure there. And remember, you can come back and you can fix these. If you, if you feel like, oh, I wanted that to look a little different. Once it dries, you can still come back and paint right over the top of this. It's not, it's not set in stone, if you will. That's right. That's the fun with painting. You can always make those changes you want. There we go. But I would like to give this, this soul creature a feature. A feature that all creatures in the dark usually have. Their eyes usually glow very white. And so we want to give him just some eyes peering out. 
There's one. That's a difficult part. Getting it to stick. Stay there, you white. You barrel white. That's right. There we go. That's why I like sticking to mountains and things. We've got our creepy crawly guy there coming out. Now we want to give ourselves maybe a little path through there. Come to some of our yellow ochre. We'll just come into some of this dark color here. There we go. Now we're going to take our path. If I can get them laid down there. There we go. Why don't we use, why don't we use, why don't we use a fan brush? There we go. Just a color for the dirt for our path. Comes that way. And then our path. Just push it in, it goes right past that barrel white. Comes back that way. There we go, just push that path in. Maybe, maybe. Show it coming back this way. And maybe our path joins up back there. And there, of course, is where it heads off to. Now that we have the path in there, let's give a bit more shape to this grass down here. Just come up. And we want it. Just come right up to your path there. There we go. And just put some of your grass in. There we go. Come back up, get more of that color. Come over on this side, we'll have some grass right in here. Right down in front there, give that path some shape. Let's even switch. Let's switch over to our two inch brush. So we're not, we're not doing this for the whole day. There we go. That's the nice thing about these two inch brushes. You can really drop in a lot of detail with things like grass and sky. Just bring it right on there. There we go. Sometimes you pick up some of the other colors. That's okay, that's okay. Now it's hard to cut it in around these objects you've already painted. So just put it in as best you can, as best you can. We want to add a few more details here. That's right. One of the things, one of the things is when we have some shapes like that, 
Oh, there'll always be a little bit of a shadow. Always be a little bit of a shadow. So don't forget your shadows. Those are going to be the details. And you have to remember them. This is a bit of a long shadow. There we go. Now, what you have to do is you have to say, well, if I did the shadow fall in that way there, all the other ones are going to have to have a shadow fall in the other way too. But a lot of these, there we go. That way, that shadow color, that gives it a little more believability that it's actually part of the landscape. There we go. And it doesn't have to be real detailed. You just put that in there and there's that one back there. Don't forget him. And this guy will have a shadow that comes right there. And of course there's a shadow cast off of him. So those types of things give your painting, they give your painting a bit of reality. Even though we're painting out of our imaginations, we can imagine what it would look like. What it would look like with that there. There we go. Now maybe we want to put some longer reeds of grass and things like that in there. Just come up maybe, maybe right here. Oh, our green is always a little too bright. Too bright for this kind of place. There we go. Just put that there. Put down that dark color and we'll come back and we'll give that a little highlight. So maybe even there's some around these rocks here. There we go. Just drop in some dark color. That'll be, oh, I picked up some of that rock. Now we come back and we give ourselves a little bit of a highlight grassy color. Just tap that onto the brush. Now go right over that dark. There we go. Get that mixed up and you come there. That just gives us that bushy color. There we are. There we go. If you're picking up too much of the dark, just wipe it off your brush. Come back. Brighten it up a bit and then just find those spots to highlight. There we go. And you can even just give your fan brush a bend and that gives you some longish grass. There we go. And you can do these little details all over your painting, all over your painting. There we go. Oh, 
All right. Do a few more of these. A few more of these. And that gives you that appearance of some longer grass. There we go. If you'd like to go for a picnic in the Barrow Downs, you're braver than me. Braver than me, that's for sure. Just give it a bend and a pull. Bend and a pull. There you go. Bend and a pull, there we go. Gives us some longer grass. And then down here you can even give this, just that paint that you already have, just give it a pull up and that'll make your grass and your bushes and things a little bit longer. Because nobody has their sheep grazing in here, that's for sure. There's nothing to keep this grass short. And you can do that all over. There we are. Now, as I said, you can keep going. Keep going, filling in the details as you like. You can even put some, maybe we want a dead tree in there, okay? That's fine too, you can come up, you can grab some of that black there, and maybe, maybe, right back here, oh, there's a tree, he comes up, oh, this guy, he hasn't grown very much. Never got the chance, he started to pop up, started to pop up. But then not much sunlight comes in here. So the fog kept him from growing too much. See that? You can do some of those trees if you want as well. There we go. There we go. As easy as that. Just put that in there. Maybe a couple of those I don't know, it's your painting, it's your world, you do what you want. But maybe I'll come back once this dries a little bit and fill in a little more details on that barrel white. That way it's a bit more of a scary painting for your harvest festival. That's right. Okay, I'm happy you joined me today. Thank you very much. Goodbye and God bless.